Today we're cooking a very authentic Italian meatball and pasta dish. Alright, for this dish we need about a pound of ground turkey, some bread for breadcrumbs. You're going to need about a cup. We're going to need about three tablespoons Parmigiano, Reggiano cheese, one medium to small onion chopped up nice and fine, and about two tablespoons of Italian parsley chopped up fine. Then we need one beaten egg, we need one garlic clove, and you want to have that one minced, and then we're going to need the zest and the juice of one lemon. Then we need about a cup of flour, and you want to season the flour with a little bit of salt and pepper to your taste. We also need about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and then one packet of fettuccine. Okay, for our sauce, we need one can of tomato sauce. We need about a half a cup of beef bouillon. We also need about a half a cup of red wine. I use Shiraz. And we're going to need about two teaspoons of basil. And of course, one more garlic clove that we're going to mince. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and crack our egg. And we're going to whip it really quick with a fork. Then we want to go ahead and peel our garlic clove. This one kind of broke in half, but I'm going to give it a good smash. And we just want to go ahead and mince that up real fine. Now on our lemon, we want to go ahead and zest it. So just scrape the peel right off on a raspy zester. Be careful not to get your fingers or thumb in there. And we do this over the entire outside of the lemon. Then we simply want to cut our lemon in half and go ahead and juice it. Now to make the breadcrumbs, it's really easy. You just want to take a couple of pieces of bread and just tear them off shreds into a food processor and then just pulse it real good. Again, you want these pretty fine. In a large bowl, we want to go ahead and add our meat. We want to add our freshly made breadcrumbs. Then we're going to add our Parmesan cheese, which I grated up by the way, and then our onions that are chopped pretty good. Next is going to be the Italian parsley, and then we want to add our beaten egg. Next goes in the zest and the garlic, and along with the lemon juice. You can mix this with a metal spoon, that's fine. I like to use my hands. Get in there and mush it all up. Really combine those flavors. You just want the zest and the juice of the lemon and the garlic to mix and just mix it up really good. Now in a bowl we want to add our sifted flour and we're just going to add a little bit of good pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. Season it up a bit. Now to make our meatballs we want to take about a good tablespoon size and we just want to roll it up kind of get it so it binds together and then we want to roll it in our seasoned flour and then place them on a plate. So we'll take another tablespoon worth of meat, bind it up real good and roll it up and then roll it in our flour and place it on a plate. And we're going to continue until all of our meatballs are done. And at this time you want to fill a pot full of water to get that started because we're going to cook our pasta in that in just a little bit. The meatballs are all done and coated with flour and it's time to start frying them up in some oil. All right, we're going to go ahead and light non-stick skillet. I use about a 14 inch skillet because you want to have a lot of room for all this stuff. On high heat, and we're going to go ahead and add our two tablespoons of olive oil. A couple of good glugs in there. We'll let that heat up. Okay, once the uh, olive oil is shimmering, not yet smoking, but pretty hot, we're going to go ahead and start adding our meatballs in batches. We don't want to add too many because it'll cool down the oil. I think in this case we can do half and half. If you have one, you can use a screen to keep it from splattering up and oil going everywhere. You can kind of tell after a minute or so, you can flip them over to one side. You want this done on high heat so that they sear nicely. You got to keep flipping them around until they're nice and golden brown. And so when they're done, we want to just go ahead and drain them onto a paper plate. I mean a paper towel. We'll add a, just a little bit more oil for our second batch. Let that heat up real good. We'll go ahead and put those in. Alright, and when this batch is done, nice and golden brown there, we want to go ahead and drain those off onto our paper towel. If you have a paper plate, you can use that. And we'll kill the flame on that for now. Okay, now you want to make your beef bouillon. Just take one cube of beef bouillon and put it in about a cup of water in a bowl in the microwave. 
for about two and a half to three minutes on high. We also want to mince our second clove of garlic for the sauce. Pasta water is boiling. We'll go ahead and add our fettuccine. Again, I like to add a pinch of salt to the pasta water. All right, we're gonna start on the sauce using the same pan we did use to cook the meatballs. If there's a lot of grease in there, you wanna wipe it out. What we're gonna do now is add our tomato sauce. And again, we're gonna do this on high heat to bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce the heat. Our half cup of beef broth. And then we also want to do about a half cup of red wine. We want to add our garlic and a good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half basil. And we're just going to cook that until it comes to kind of a soft boil and then we're going to turn it down. We're going to stir this up real good until it comes to a soft boil and then we're going to reduce the heat. Okay, you can see the sauce is starting to come to a boil. It's glistening really nice. And at this point, we want to go ahead and lower the heat to low to medium. And we're going to go ahead and add our meatballs back to the sauce. Careful you don't burn your fingers. You can use tongs if you want, but I have asbestos fingers. And we're just going to place all of our meatballs in here. A rich red wine sauce and some citrus twangy meatballs. Okay, you want to let your meatballs cook in the sauce for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, once our pasta is done, we want to go ahead and turn it off and go ahead and drain it. As the meatballs are cooking, we want to check on them here, kind of disperse them evenly throughout the sauce. They're almost done. Plate this up. We want to grab some fettuccine, place it in the bowl, nice shallow bed of it. Then we want to go ahead and take a spoon and bring a few meatballs on top of the noodles there and then spoon some of that rich red wine sauce right alongside, getting it into all the little grooves there. Beautiful. Now we want to hit it with a little bit of parsley as garnish and lastly with a nice kick of some grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And there we have a beautiful, authentic Italian meatball dish.